beat of New York. 103.5 KTU. 103.5 KTU, the beat of New York with Cubby and Carolina in the morning. And he made it. Ed Sheeran is yeah. here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It means a lot. It means a lot to come up here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I it's appreciate good. it. Good to see you again, too. Good to be here. And congrats. You know, you're checking out the shape of me for some reason. Oh, could yeah. it be the new single being shape of you? Congratulations. You're back. With... Now, I, I want to ask you a question, though. You you, you released two singles, right? There's, yeah. There's uh, Castles on the Hill or Castle on the Hill and Shape of You. Why two singles at the same time? Uh... I, do you know what? I didn't want people listening to one song and judging an album off one song. I wanted them to have a kind of more round view on it. The album's called Divide, so it's like lots of different sounds on there. So kind of choosing one to come with seemed uh, a bit silly. Gotcha. Now, do you think that you worked with a bunch of different people on this album because you wanted people to not judge you based on the ones that you've done before? Or is this totally going to be like the Ed Sheeran that we know and love? Yeah, it's gonna, Yeah, yeah uh, it's, it's, it's just a kind of like evolution of what was on the last record, really. It's just better. Yeah, and I yeah. heard you asked uh, John Mayer to come out and do a guitar solo. Yeah, well, I kind of played the guitar solo, and I was like, this sounds like a poor man's John Mayer. Why, right. Why, why, don't, why don't I just try and get him on it? So, yeah, he's uh, he's riffing on it. So it's like, you know, you're a big enough man to say, wow, I sucked at that. Like, I want to call somebody that can come and do it a little bit better. Yeah, like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not the world's best guitar player, and I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll never try, try and hide it. But And it's quite nice to be able to... To be able to be in a position where John Mayer can play on my record because right. I kind of grew up listening to him and loving him, so it's 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 nice. When you want to work with somebody, do you have a lot of numbers on in your phone that you can call directly, or do you have? Well, to... I don't have a phone anymore, so it's pretty. I'm pr pretty much just working off off email. Well, I heard that you gave up social media and a lot of things, right? I gave up my phone completely. Texting, I don't I don't text anymore. How hard was that? The first couple of days, were you first like couple of the days shakes? was really hard, but like uh, it's super easy to to get. I was meant to take it back up two weeks ago, and I decided not to. Like really? I was meant to just stay off it for a year, and then I was like, I'm I like. My what life. prompted this? What made you do this? Uh. Have you ever been at a house party with all your mates and they're all on their phone? On the phone, like, it's yeah. So like, you yep. should be talking and catch like that. That was me. So like I, I, I just got rid of it and now I actually like spend quality time with people without checking my phone every twenty seconds. Yeah, I love how you like took a year and I, people are calling it like your gap year, you yeah. know, because you sabbatical. went and you traveled. Yeah, like a sabbatical. But yeah. like you don't take just a normal one. You're hanging out with Peter Jackson. Is that who it, the guy from Lord of the Rings? Yeah. So what? He, uh, tell the story about him strapping you to a plane because I didn't understand this. Uh, he collects World War One fighter planes and World War Two fighter planes and restores them and makes them fly again. And uh, wow. he was like, "Do you want to fly?" In his off time, when he's not like doing big yeah. screen movies. Yeah, well, yeah, I think yeah. I think I, I think one of his favorite mu movies is uh, Dang Dangbusters. So that was like a uh, he he wanted to kind of uh, get get into stuff like that. But it's it's actually su surprisingly not as scary as flying in a real plane. Which is weird because the the mechanics of it are from over a hundred years. Well, yeah, over a hundred years ago. Yeah. Um, so you just expect it to be scary, but it's actually a really calming experience. Yeah, you travel so much. Do you have a fear of flying at all, or are you used to it now? No, I have a fear of heights. Heights, but not but, but, not, but not flying. So you're not I, a window wait, seat guy. You're an aisle no, guy. No, I, no, I I don't mind heights if I'm in something, but I just don't like looking over. Like I went to the Burj Khalifa in um Dubai. In Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm not. It sways. Yeah, you know, it sways. did your feet yeah, it does. get cold? Like your feet, like it did, when you're up there. I so get a high. feeling I mean, like, it's pretty, like it's pretty hot in Dubai. I don't. Is you it? Could, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hot. I always get, get a weird feeling. I'm not trying to be funny. It's true. Like in the private region, when I if I look down, like <laughs> if I'm if I'm like, on a high ah. building, I look down. I kind of like everything like tightens up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fully get that. I <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I decided to uh, bungee jump in. Um, New Zealand to cure my fear of heights and it's done it completely the opposite. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? really? I was going to say the same thing because I'm afraid of heights and I went bungee jumping and I was like, that was the dumbest thing I could have possibly ever done. Because <laughs> no. I'm like even more terrified of I'm really about terrified it. of them now, yeah. Ed, Ed, real quick, back to your music. Um, Shape of You is a very, very sexy song. Thank you. Now, did you have any woman in mind when you were writing that? Was there any particular image you had? Uh, not really, no. I, I, I just, I just kind of wanted to write a song about celebrating a female figure, I guess. Rather than I don't know, it's it's quite it's quite easy to get quite cliched with with songs like that. So I was trying to do it from a different angle. Right. Well, now you know there's things that are out in the headlines, and I just love getting other people's opinions about it. I'm sure you saw the Mariah Carey debacle that happened on New Year's Eve. Do you know what though? I th I feel like I, I feel like that could have happened to anyone. That's right. mm -hmm. that's happened to me before where the in ears just didn't work. Like she's in the middle of Times Square with no monitors. Like it's really difficult. You can't you can't sing in time for that. I've I've been center of a, an arena once. And my in ears shut off, and exactly the same thing happened to me. So I know people are like watching that and like 
poking fun at her, but that's a really, really horrible situation to be in because you're just there powerless being like... If that ear goes out, explain what you hear. You just hear an echo of... No, you you can hear the track, but the track happens... It's like a two-second delay, so if you tried to sing, it would sound it would sound dreadful. So she's stuck in the middle of that being like, I can't... If, if I sing, it's going to sound dreadful, and there's no monitors in front of me. So I, I didn't watch that and find that found that funny. I watched that and was like, oh, my God, that, that could have happened to me. That right. could have happened to, right. to anyone. I feel, I feel like most musicians watch that. Obviously, the public don't know that. They'll just be like, oh, some, something didn't work. But I watched that, and I was like, oh, my God, like... What what would I do in that situation? And you wanted to call Mariah and say I feel for you, but you don't have a phone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I, don't, I, I don't I don't know her, I don't know her either. But, but what but what I will say is like it's um it could happen to it can it happen could, to anybody. You could see, like that could happen to me, and I'd hate for people to not think that I was musical because, um. The, you know the sound the sound wasn't working properly right right yeah no i think that people are so quick to judge but then you know a video of adele came out just like a day later and the same thing or a similar thing yeah, happened it, to her it can happen it can happen to, to anyone the, t- the time it happened to me was me and um taylor swift and the, the only thing you can do is just be like at least it's live mm-hmm. you know, right. at, least, at, le- at least it's not a backing track you know yeah. hey, what, what keeps you grounded you know carolina and i we're very lucky to have a ton of artists come by here and we've met a lot of big people, and most of them are all cool. Yeah. But you like seem especially really cool. You're down to earth. I know you do a million interviews. I'm English though. We're all we're, we're all fun. You're just a great <laughs> dude, and all, all the success you've had, you just you're still down to earth. Uh, is that just from I don't know, I, I, your parents? Uh, y- yeah, it's it's my parents and my friends, and doing stuff like taking a year off and actually getting perspective. I think I th- you know I was getting quite caught up in the whole celebrity game uh, at at some point you do you do need to remind I need to remind myself that I'm a 25 year old British boy sometimes with normal friends who goes to the pub and not I'm not meant to be going to bougie events in LA and uh, you know, do, 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 doing all of that I think it's important to um keep a bit of reality right yeah, but I'm gonna call you on that because you're talking about going to pubs but then it's like I thought it was a bad joke when I heard James Blunt Ed Sheeran and Princess, Princess Beatrice are all together in a room you know but then it's like you have those experiences but, but then that's... something bad happens to you, you know? <laughs> but that's but that's my point like I, I, I can end up at, it, it, at at an event like that but then the next day I can go and be doing tequila slammers with my friends in a really grotty pub like I think you need to keep but you can't just do you have, it's obviously really fun to to go right. to these sort of things that celebrities are at and like I'm, I'm obviously always like mind blown that I'm at them but you do have to have a balance of both you Absolutely. can't just do one or do the other you, do, you have to balance it out yeah, because I mean, I hear about you passing out on Courtney Cox's couch, and then you're like hanging out with your friends after. You <laughs> yeah, I think, beers, you, you know? yeah, I think I, I think that's the best that's the best thing to do is uh, whenever you do something surreal, balance it with something that's a bit a bit normal. Okay, so March third, I'm hearing is the date. Can we confirm that? Yeah, confirm. Okay. Album album coming out March third, yeah. and it's on pre order from midnight tonight. And people always ask about a tour. Are you going to be? I'm guessing touring in the summer. Of course, yeah, I mean, what, one of the main reasons I really wanted to come back was to, to tour. I kind of had a phase last year where I got a bit down, and I was like. Why am I down? And I've realized I hadn't performed in seven or eight months. And that buzz is what made me want to get into the music industry in the first place. So I'm going to be touring for quite a while. Now, are we doing like big stadiums or are we doing not, like intimate not, shows? Not, well, and... for me, for me, an, an, an intimate show at the moment is is an arena, but like, it, which is quite a mad thing. But I'm going to be doing arenas until ne- next year is going to be a big stadium run. All right, Ed, Very we can't cool. thank you enough and nothing but success on this brand new album. Thank you so thank much. You thank you so for much. Me. We love the new songs. Both of them. Ed Sheeran, everybody. (laughs) Thank you. Pleasure. The Beat of New York. 103.5. KTU.